my middle school survival guide. Hey guys, it's Lily. So today is gonna kick off my back to school series. Woo! Today's gonna be a middle school survival guide, and I already did one of these. So um, if you haven't seen it, check it out in the link below. I'm gonna delete it after I post this one though. Well, I don't know. Tell me if I want to delete. Me to delete the old one. Um, cause it's not really like good quality. It was on my webcam. So the first thing lots of people want to know is about like locker, um, not locker, uh, schedules. Cause as you know, in middle school, maybe you switch classes, um, classes in, maybe you switched classes in elementary school. Um, I switched, no, I didn't switch classes in elementary school. Um, but lots of people are stressed out about being able, being able to get to class on time and stuff like that. Um, my schedule, it would be, um, how many classes? One. So I have homeroom in the morning. Well, not homeroom. Advisory, which is like kind of homeroom for middle school. It's like you go there in the morning um, for like five minutes. And then we have days where it's like 25 minutes where it's like team building or something. And that's where you go with all your books. And then you have Encore after, the, after that. So Encore is kind of like an extra class where it's like, either band or art or something like that you might call them um I don't know what other people call them we call them encores um I forgot what other people call them but yeah and then we have for me at least I had um applied tech no first quarter I had what I have second quarter I had applied tech the first quarter I had clothing so I'd have that and then I would have LA1 or LA2 and then on day, day A, I had band. So uh, on day A, I'd have band, and on day B, I'd have clothing or apply tech. Then I'd have LA1, which is like language arts, or what people call English, or whatever. So then I have that, and then LA2, which is like the same thing, um, for two periods. And then I wouldn't switch classes, and then I'd take my books, and I would go to, where would I go? Um, Spanish, and then I'd go, after the Spanish, I'd have social studies, and then it'd be lunch. Then after lunch, I have um, gym, and then math, and then science. So that was my schedule. Your schedule might be the same, and it might be really intimidating, like, oh my gosh, like, how am I supposed to get down my classes and stuff, but I was really nervous, too. Uh, when I started middle school, I was really scared, and I would look up, like, all these videos. I'd look up, um, you know, like, uh, middle school survival guides and stuff for myself, and now I'm, like, how I can share what I know with you guys. Getting to classes, we have a three minute passing period. Three minutes may seem like nothing, but it is a lot of time to get to classes. For sixth graders, they don't really um, give, at least in my school, they don't give tardies that much because, or like, we call them check and reflex, where you get like three check and reflex and you get a detention, but in a month. But um, they wouldn't do that for sixth graders, so you'll be fine, your teachers will be apologetic. Um, yeah, and sorry, sorry if I say um a lot, that's just something I do in videos and people point it out, but yeah. If you want to be more efficient to get to classes, I would suggest, I'll do a video on this, how to organize your locker, organizing your locker by class. But if you're one of those people like me, like have a, that likes to have a big binder with everything you need for your class, that's awesome. I'll link the video down below or somewhere here. Um, you can click it, it's how to organize, how to stay organized for school, and it's how I organize my big binder that I carry every class with me and the great thing about having all your stuff for each class you can have a folder for each class you can have a binder for each class whatever you want but it's um it depends on each grade two or each uh teacher each school i would suggest if you're gonna go to your locker make sure you have it ready to go so you can open your locker take your books switch out your books and go that's what my friend does and it works fine for her what i do is i have as i said all my stuff together for each class today Another thing that people are really scared about is walking into the wrong classroom. Now, I did this in sixth grade, and it's really not as bad as you think. Um, they usually give you a paper with your schedule, and I would suggest taping that to the inside of your planner or inside of a notebook um, so you can look at it on the first day of school, which is what I did. And it worked pretty good for me, except for I walked into the wrong Spanish class because we have two Spanish teachers. And so that was really awkward, but it wasn't that bad. She just kind of like helped me get to the wrong class. And don't be afraid to ask teachers where 
to go because I remember I was so embarrassed. Like, I would never ask teachers where to go. I would be like, oh, I know where to go, you know, whatever. But I really didn't know where to go. Teachers are your friend, not your enemy. Another thing lots of people want to know about is the um, dress codes in school and stuff like that. But chewing gum and stuff. I know I was really, like, because in, in my elementary school, we weren't allowed to chew gum. But in middle school, I don't know if your teachers are strict about this, but our teachers, like, literally all of them are just like, you can chew gum, but if it gets annoying, then I'm taking it away. And also for dress code, we have the thing where you, like, I would not be able to wear this, even though people break the dress code. If you break the dress code for our school, you have to, like, wear this, like, you wear your gym shirt all day, and it, like, sucks. But, um, ours is, like, either, I think it's three fingers, and then we can't have our pants past our, our fingertips, and people are scared they'll get, like, dress coded or whatever, just, if, as long as you follow the dress code, you'll be fine. Another thing is the homework situation. Now, lots of people, um, are really scared about the homework, like, how much homework will, how, will you get? Will it be different than elementary school? And honestly, I think they do such a good job of preparing you in elementary school for middle school that you shouldn't be overwhelmed. They should give you the amount of homework you get in elementary school, or a little bit more maybe, but yeah, it's not that bad, honestly. As long as you prioritize correctly, you can look at my how to organize your planner video. I'll link that here or down below, and that should really help you if you're having trouble. People are really worried about is like, um, like friends and like where to sit at lunch and stuff. And honestly, you make so many friends in um, middle school. I've made like, a lot of friends um honestly I don't even hang out with the people I hung out with in elementary school so it's really it's a really big change but it's really nice um but yeah like I legit don't hang out with any of my friends I hang out, hung out with in elementary school except for like my one like best friend but uh, it's a really good opportunity and try new things sit at new lunch tables I know it might seem scary but um I sat at a new lunch table and I made so many new friends um, also, doing activities makes it really easy to make new friends. I did the school musical in my sixth grade year. It was really bad, but my sixth grade year, um, I made so many new friends from that. I also made friends from like band and like extracurricular activities. There's lots of clubs in middle school, I'm sure. Uh, I know it might be nerdy, like, oh, clubs. But lots of people do clubs. You could be surprised how many people do clubs. And just find a friend and go to a club. Like, I did yearbook club. And honestly, all I did was just take the camera and, like, take pictures of, like, all my friends. And, like, take pictures, like, around the school. Um, and I didn't even help make the yearbook. I just, like, took pictures. But that was pretty fun because I met my friend there. Um, but it was really um, good. Like, the clubs are really nice. Don't be afraid to try new things. If you want to try cheerleading, go for cheerleading. If you want to try out for the basketball team, go out, try for the basketball team. Like, no one's gonna like judge you for trying something new. And if they do judge you, then they're idiots and you shouldn't be friends with them. Lots of people are really scared too about like bullying and stuff. And honestly, there is bullying in middle school. There's always gonna be bullying. Someone's always gonna, there's always that one person that tries to put you down, but you have to be better than them and not let it get to you. Um, be who you are, don't let it change you, don't let something, don't let someone change you, be yourself, make sure you, let, if, you if you're fine with yourself, then that's all that matters, don't take it to your head, don't think you have to be popular, and you have to be with like the popular crowd, you know, all the guys, so what, as long as you're happy and you have nice friends, it's all that really matters. Another thing is getting up on time for school. This was a big struggle for me because since uh, my elementary school started, at no 8 30 and then my middle school started at 7 or it starts at 7 so that was a really big challenge getting up early in sixth grade because um yeah and also if you're noise in the background that's my grandma talking to my dad i would suggest um setting your alarm for the time you would get up at school i if you want to like if it takes you an hour to get ready and your school starts at 7, get up at uh, 5.55 so you can get there on time. Um, if it takes you half an hour to get ready, etc, etc. And do that for at least a week before school starts. This is what I did. And it really helps because you're used to getting up that time. Like, I like naturally would get up at 6 o'clock 
for school. Like now I just naturally get up. Um, but I used to not get up and it was hard. So that's something you can do if you want to help with that. Middle school is really fun. It's not challenging. Um, it's just a party. Trust me, you'll have so much fun in middle school. Uh, some years won't be your best. I didn't particularly like seventh grade, but I loved sixth grade. Um, it's just like elementary school, but you have new teachers and all your teachers, are, like I love my teachers. Some are as nice as others and um, don't listen to like what older kids say if they're like, oh, it's so hard, like getting to classes on time is so hard. No, it's really not that hard, trust me. Getting to classes on time um, seems hard. Like three minutes seems like nothing. And honestly, it's perfectly enough. You might have more, which is good. Um, hmm, what else do I say? No recess anymore. For those of you who liked recess, I didn't really like recess ever. I was never that person that really liked recess. But we do get to go outside after lunch and just like walk and like talk. Sit. We don't really have anything to do except for like maybe soccer or something. But yeah. Gym uniforms. Yay. Now you get gym uniforms. Oh, I hate gym uniforms. Oh, and your gym locker too. You get a gym locker and your own locker, obviously, if you didn't get a locker. And then, uh, combination and then I would suggest if you have your your lock uh, before school starts practicing your lock combination because it's way easier um, when you're like in class or when you're in gym to like do it faster if you know how to do it and you can just like keep whatever you want in your gym locker like perfume deodorant obviously you need deodorant in your gym locker because that's just like gross if you don't have it but I have a emergency makeup kit if you want to check that out um, link down below or here I made lots of back to school videos last year. If you want to check that out, I have a back to school playlist in my on my channel, so you guys can go check that out. Another thing lots of people ask me is, will I have enough time after gym to get ready? Well, at my school, I always got to class on time because we have they let you out a little bit earlier, so you have like five minutes to get ready, or uh, maybe a little more than that. But and then, on top of the three minute passing period. But I would suggest if you get undressed, obviously, I mean, it's, it might seem awkward at first, but it's not awkward. I mean, like, we're all, we're all girls in the, in the locker room, so it's not, it, it's not awkward, honestly. I thought it would be awkward, but it's not. If you don't feel comfortable, you can wear an undershirt and then change, but, or and change in the bathroom, but it's really easy, trust me. Make sure you lay out your clothes, like have your shoes ready. If you if you double knot your shoelaces and you just slip your shoes off, untie your shoelaces so you won't be trying to untie the knot uh, after gym. That's what I would do. I would untie my shoelaces, and sometimes I wouldn't, and it'd be so hard because I'm like struggling, and then I have to, un you know, cause like especially with Converse, I wear those a lot at school. But if you have Uggs like, like or something, that's no problem. But yeah, lay like on like if you take off your jeans and then like they're inside out, make them like you know how you like pull them and like. So they're like not inside out anymore. Um, yeah, but that's what I would do for gym. I would also reapply my makeup. Um, if I if my eyeliner smudged or mascara smudged, as I said, you can check out my makeup kit thing. It's in the description or somewhere here. I don't know what else to talk about. I think I've covered everything. Hopefully. But yeah, middle school's fun. Don't stress about it. It's really easy. It's not hard. Um, you find so many new friends and you find it's better than elementary school. I like it better than I liked it better than elementary school. But yeah, um it's just really fun. Make sure you try new things. Don't be afraid to be yourself. You'll meet so many new people and it's just really fun. Just don't be intimidated by it all. It's not scary. It's not um, too much or anything. Just make sure you do what you want to do. Don't let other people bring you down. If someone's bringing you down, tell someone. Tell a teacher. Tell a parent. Don't be afraid to be yourself, to go for yourself. Yeah. So I hope I helped you. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me, email me. I live in for fashion 101 at AOL.com. Request video ideas for more back to school series. As I said again, I have a whole playlist with all my back to school videos, fashion, all that stuff. 
uh, I'll link the play Catholic playlist. I don't know, but just go to my channel. You'll see the back to school playlist. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.